Hello, uh, welcome to the new video. In this video, we will see what is the stability factor of collector to base pairs. So, all explanation about the stability factor has been done in the previous video. About uh, We have also calculated the stability factor of fixed pairs. So, you can refer that video for a detailed explanation. In this video, what we will do, we will calculate the stability factor of collector to base pairs. So, this is the circuit of uh, collector to base pairs. As you can see, there is a NPN transistor and a base resistor RP. And then there is a resistor over in collector RC. And there is a battery VCC. So, let's apply KVL to this circuit. We'll get VCC is equal to IC plus IB into RC. plus IB times RB plus EBE. So this is the uh, KVL equation. So our next step is we know that IC is equal to beta times IB plus beta plus 1 times ICO. So this is the equation of IC collector current. There is also the reverse saturation current which has a role to play. So we have included that into the equation. So we all know that a stability factor is delta IC upon ICO. So what I am doing, I am differentiating 1 with respect to ICO. We get beta times delta IB upon delta ICO plus beta plus 1. Okay. Let me put this into the box. So this is the stability factor. So this is the general equation for all it applies for all configuration. In this to in order to get the stability factor of this circuit, what we need to do we need to find out this value delta IB upon delta ICO for this circuit. So once we find that we can substitute that value in this equation and then we can calculate what is the stability factor. So in order to get this value what we need to do we need to get this delta IB upon delta ICO from this equation that is which is equal to IC plus IB into RC plus IB RB plus VB. So we can get this from this equation. So let's see how to get that and then we'll substitute at the end of the video we'll end up we'll get the stability factor and then we can compare that with the fixed bias circuit but we can compare the stability factor of two different configuration okay so this is the kvl equation so let's call it as equation two let's differentiate equation two with respect to vco okay so since this is a constant, differentiating that is, uh, the VCO is 0. So now RC is constant. We will get delta IC upon delta ICO plus as you can see this IB is common and RC plus RB. So we can what we can do, we can add these two and differentiate IB. Delta IB upon delta ICO and uh, differentiating VBE with respect to VCO will result into 0. So this is the equation and also note that delta IC upon delta ICO is nothing but stability factor S. So this is S. So we can write it as 0 RC into S plus RC plus RB into delta IB upon delta ICO. So what we get? We get the value of delta IB upon delta ICO. Delta IB upon delta ICO is minus RC upon RC plus RB into S. This is R, okay? 
so this is the value of delta IV upon delta IV. We need to substitute this value into that main equation, the main equation. Then we get to the we get the stability factor of collector to base pairs. So this was the general equation of stability factor. S is equal to beta times delta IV upon delta I C O plus beta plus one. Now what we do? We substitute this delta, delta IV upon delta I C O in this equation. So that will be S is equal to beta times V minus here. R C upon R C plus R B into S plus beta plus one. So what we'll do? We'll shift this S factor over here. See, this is the minus sign, and here is the into. So what we get? P S plus this minus will become that six plus. Okay, and yes into Beta times R C upon R C plus R B. Let's make it as one. This is equal to beta plus one. Okay. So now what we do? We take one uh, as common. It will be one plus beta times. R C upon R C plus R B. So let's write it as one plus beta. So what we get the final equation is S is equal to one plus beta upon one plus beta into R C upon R C plus R B. So this is the equation, okay, for stability factor of collector to base bias. As you can see, for fixed bias, the stability factor was one plus beta. That is, delta I C upon delta I C O. Let's see if we get that. For fixed bias, it was beta plus one. Means it was very large value. It means for small change in ICO, there was very large change in the collector current, which is not required because it is not a good design. In that case, our operating point will fluctuate. It may not stay in active region. It may go to cutoff region or saturation region. So fixed bias is not a proper way of biasing the circuit. However, the collector to base bias, what it will do? It will improve the stability factor. It means the operating point is stable now. So you can see the stability factor is much less than beta plus one. Okay. So this is how we calculate the stability factor of uh, for collected collector to base bias. In the coming videos, we'll see what is the stability factor of uh, fixed bias with uh, resistance in the emitter. And then there is a voltage divider bias. So we calculate the stability factor for that circuit as well. So thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.